Greetings! Ixalan here. Welcome back to episode 2 of my Let's Play Rogue Legacy. We're playing with Lady Kara. I apologize if at the end of my last video you heard a random beeping sound. Doubt any of you stayed to the end, but if you did, I was trying to use a timer to properly time my episodes, and that sucks. I can't find a silent timer, so I'm just gonna kinda wing it! We'll see how it goes. I'm still shooting for 20 minutes. <clears throat> Let's go see and give Sharon all of her money and see what this new castle is. For any of you that don't know uh, Lady Kara here, Kara is the first name of Supergirl. I figured since I'm explaining what all these... Since I explained that all of my characters are named after Marvel and DC heroes and heroines, I should probably explain who they are when I pick them, that would make sense. Otherwise, what the hell is the point of what I'm doing? We've made it to the Maya at the very beginning. Okay. We're not going there. That's just not happening. Not gonna do it. Can't make me do it. Don't want to do it. So you can see we've kind of improved ourselves a little. I think we're doing more damage. Which is pretty good. I like the fact that every hit basically is giving me two hit points back. I don't have a whole lot of hit points, so every little bit helps at this point. Grab all that money. Get ourselves this chest. Didn't really need to do that. It's not a Doom Voss. Other than the shaking, I'm not really sure how you would tell a Doom Voss. And I know sometimes they don't move until you're really close. So, we'll have to wing it a bit, I think. Kill that. We'll just not activate those. Go around here. Oh! That is interesting. Get rid of these skeletons. Skip over this missile. We'll go around this way. There we go. Now we're good. Now we can get out of here. I like the dash. I... that was really bad. Oh! Coprolalia! She curses and makes his little speech bubbles whenever she gets hurt. Yep, that's a little... that's what that is. There we go. Alright. Get ourselves some gold, get out of here. <clears throat> I like the dash for its mo air aerial mobility, but I also just like being able to dash around things get you through places quicker. I don't know how I did that, but I'm not going to complain. There we go. Dead Doom Boss, dead guy. Alright, that's a Doom Boss. That was pretty obvious, because who would hang a painting there? Placement is sometimes one of the ways you can figure things out in this game. Ooh, health. I like that. Alright, we're staying alive. This, I believe, full heals or full MPs you. Either way, we don't really need it at this second as I walk into a ghost head. But who knows, by the end of this room, maybe we will. Oh good, okay, I'm too low. I was really concerned that I was gonna not be too low for that. And F this guy, we're good. Alright. So, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Castlevania because that's what this game reminds me of. And I'm not very good at platformers. I really enjoy platformers. Actually, um, recently the Risk of Rain game, which is surprisingly fun no matter how terrible I am at it, went on sale uh, on Steam and it was a four pack for like 10 bucks. So I bought it for a couple of my buddies and I just can't beat the game. <laughs> I tried beating the game once, I successfully beat the game once on easy. And that's what made me sad, is that it was on easy, so nothing really unlocks. Unless you're playing on at least normal. And I'm just not that good. Oh, really? I like, jumped into that. And that. And I'm gonna avoid this ice. And I'm not gonna have the same problem. There we go, see? You just gotta convince yourself. Or, no! Okay. Alright. Done with that. I think we can take that. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's go see if that thing, 
the water spark fountain. The water fountain. <coughs> Let's go see if this is actually a full heal. 30 MP. Okay, so it's not a full heal, but it gives you more than eating anything would, so that's pretty good. I'll take that. We'll just keep moving on. The vampirism has clearly already saved my life ten times over. No fighting fairy chest. Okay. I can do this. I think. Yep. Okay. Got it! First rune! We got to sprint for our cape so we can double sprint. And now I'm going to kill all these things because otherwise I'm going to die on my way out. Oh. And I need the health. Oh. Okay. Alright, we're at 12. We're good. We got this? Yeah. 14. Just going to slowly walk away up. What music will you play for us today, fairy? Okay. Just Pistol Shrimp. I've heard that song last time. Oh! Son of a... I saw it happening too, but I already clicked. Alright, Supergirl. Looks like rockets are your kryptonite today. So, let's see what our next group is. So we got Lady Selina. Selina Kyle is Catwoman. Don't care what you say, she's more hero than villain. So, plus it's really hard to find a good list of heroines. Um, the comic book world is very male-oriented, which does kind of make sense. So Lady Jean, Jean Grey, the Phoenix, X-Men. Uh, peripheral arterial disease, no foot pulse, and bald. Caprolalia, which we just did, and electrophobia, chickens freak you out. I think that means the drumstick that pops out of items you break can sometimes be a chicken. And there was an achievement for killing it, if I recall correctly. And then we got EHS, you conduct electricity really well. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> but I'm going to avoid gigantism for the time being. And we'll go with Lady Jean, the paladin. Partially so I can show you peripheral arterial disease, because that's just a really good trait to have in this game. So we're at 1100. I think I'm going to unlock... What did I need? I needed weight to unlock things, didn't I? Yeah, okay. So here's what we'll do. We will upgrade the mage. Sorry, had a cough there. Transform your me measly mages into archmages. Master all of the arcane arts and change whatever spells you have on the fly. So... Archmages can use their special ability, which is why I'm using a PlayStation controller, so it's triangle for me. If you were, it, but it's mapped to look like an Xbox controller, which is why it says why. Um, if you, it cycles through, I want to say five or six different spells. We'll we'll try one out soon and figure it out. Unlock the miner. The miner will give us increased gold, which we're doing okay for the time being. So, I think I'm gonna unlock. A couple upgrades. Yeah, we'll spend all our money on the upgrades for weight this time. And then on our next run, we'll buy equipment. And that'll help get us through this. Because you can't really buy anything for 40 gold. So we give Sharon our 40 gold, and we bolt. Because we are bolting. I'm pretty sure you're the changing of building, it changes to a couple things depending on your, your traits, which I think is kind of a cute Easter egg. Balding being one of them, obviously. So you can you can press down and attack to do this knife thing. If I if you haven't already picked up on that by watching me do it multiple times, there's a setting, and we'll press Y for settings. That's enable quick drop. It allows you to drop down ledges and down attack in the air by pressing down. I highly recommend if you play this game that you, that's the first thing you enable because it. It makes the game so much more fun. Just being able... Like, you feel like you're inferior if you can't do that. And it kind of sucks. So I really enjoy that feature. Just give ourselves some free gold. Skip through the thing. Kill this guy. Oh, the wolf! Shit, didn't see that. Alright, run away. <laughs> that, was a, that was a terrible mistake lost I, way too much of our health there. So we'll continue on and hope we can find enough things to get some experience. Get our vampirism going. Doom Voss, I see you. Can't beat me. Well, you probably can, but for the time being, we'll get past this. 
my man. That did not do nearly as much, but it did clear out that guy, so I'll take it. Oh, you're doing bust too. Where are you going? Alright, come here. Defeat all enemies. If I had the axe, this would be really good. And in fact, if I get the axe on one of the next characters, I might just come in here, lock down the map, come back here and get this because the axe will go through the area and you can kill those two, those two. So yeah, it would cost me three axes. Or any other form of magic that would do that. Ooh, a new journal. So one interesting thing about the journal is the story will progress no matter how bad you are. So I actually completed the entire journal before I even made it out of the first area last time and may do it this time depending on how bad I am. But let's see. Journal entry number three. I think there's 20 in total. I have paid my dues and entered the castle proper. That devil, Sharon, has taken all that I own as payment. He has even pilfered my private coffers. I left my wife and children with nothing. He says it's the price for any and all who hazard the depths of the castle. He says it is fair. It is fair because of all who have entered, none have returned. But I will change that. I will be victorious. There is no greater swordsman than I, even amongst my siblings. Alright. So number three. Oh, uh, why am I... Don't hit that! Okay, so, peripheral arterial disease, as you can see, lets you stand on these without triggering the spikes, which is awesome. Because now I... Oh, do bus. Alright. Oh, come on. That's garbage. Alright. Let's get this before we die. Give ourselves a little bit of money. Grab some food here. Take out this rocket. Okay, so this room is cleared. We got the chest. Let's go down and see what happens. Ooh, boss fight. Alright. I may... I'm contemplating fighting the boss just to kind of have a go. I don't think I'm strong enough to take it. And I know in my current health I would die. Take no damage, huh? Oh, that failed. Never mind. Thought I was doing okay there. I was not. I am fucking awful. <laughs> Sorry, Jean Grey. You've been killed by a guard box. Alright, let's keep going. We have another guy in here. Do we have an axe? Was that an option? It was an option. So we have a giant shadow ninja guy. We got a bald barbarian king. Alright, let's do Gigantism, because it's something new. Sir Richard the Knave. Now this guy does less damage, but crits more often. So he can get a significantly higher damage output um, on certain enemies. Which is pretty good. And we'll fiddle with Quantum Translocator to see if that works too, if we can get anything going. So, as I said, we're going to upgrade some, some armor here. Let's get some boots going. Better magic, higher weight, okay. We don't have any... Those aren't boots. Are there boots? Limbs. So I guess that's boots and gauntlets. Okay. Well, that makes sense. And then the Squire Cape, 4% crit chance with a guy that crits. That seems pretty good. We've got 300 gold. Let's see if we can unlock that rune we just got or if she's going to charge us out the ass. She's going to charge us out the ass. Alright. So let's go over here and see what we can get for 300. Now, since we upgraded this a couple times, all of these are slightly more expensive. So we need 520 for the miner and the shinobi. I think we'll get an attack up here. And pay sharing. Alright, so let's try this magic thing. Alright, so we leave a shadow. And then we warp to the shadow. Okay. How? See, I don't know how that would be good. Maybe that. Right. We'll fight. We'll figure it out. I guess in those like long spike corridors you can drop at the beginning and not have to cover your way back. Alright, so one good thing about gigantism is that you have this disgusting reach that just shames everyone with a small penis. Now here would be a good example. Let's, there was not a, dun or a chest at the end of that, 
So I'm gonna try going a different way first because I'm not gonna do very well at that. 25, but you saw that crit, right? It did 60 something. There you go, there's the crits. So you crit more often. I probably have, what, a 15% chance to crit? I wonder if you can see that. Okay, so back slash select is the map. And then start X, that's your character card. All right, so every one of your guys has a character card. It shows you, you know, your health, strength, man, all your stats and stuff. And gives you all your little upgrades there. Haste, move 30% faster. That's what the knave does. All right, so 15% crit chance. And that would be plus four from the cape puts us at 19, which is our crit chance on the right. So the knave class gives us 15 crit, low HP, MP, and strength. And then I have a 30% faster move speed due to ADHD. All right, so Richard. Um, Richard is actually, I'm pretty sure there's more than one Richard in the superhero one, but I particularly typed in Richard for Dick Grayson, um, Robin, Nightwing, whoever in that group. He's been a few different characters in the Batman universe. I started my character list with Batman, because why would the first person on your list not be Bruce Wayne? That just seems like poor planning on your part. Uh, I walked into the eyeball. Son of a... Alright. So, started with Bruce Wayne. Oh! There's a hole in the floor! That's... Is that some bullshit? Alright. That's the other... Downside with oh, I'm too high. Okay. I thought I hit him. All right. Anyways. Well, good job, Robin. You're the worst member of the Batman team. Let's see. Lady Susan, ADHD, stereo blind. No traits. Flexible. Ah, oh, I haven't seen that. So, Lady Dinah, Nave, a risky hero. So same thing. Or the Barbarian Queen. Yeah, let's let's try Lady Dinah. Let's see what's going on here. We'll, uh, ooh, we only have 300 gold, though, so we're not going to be able to unlock anything here. So our choices are... Really not very... We could do a magic damage up, an actual mana up, or a health up. I think we're going to go with the health up. Because your 300 gold isn't enough to get us anything... Unless that last armor piece is 300. That's 350. Yeah. Okay. So we'll grab a health up. And then we'll go give Sharon 80. But we will do that in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play. I really like Rogue Legacy, so I'm going to keep doing it. Alright. See you guys next time. Bye.